know those old chairs with woven seats that seem to last forever? Well, there's a special art to making those weaves and that art still thrives thanks to Asheville's only self-proclaimed chair nerds at the Silver River Center for Chair Caning. Shameless chair nerds, in fact. Um, again, we just really get excited about the chairs. They all have such fascinating history. Chairs are fun. There is a, a very unique subculture of people who are chair nerds out there. Located in Asheville's River Arts District, Dave and Brandy would like nothing more than to use this space to teach people the overlooked art form of chair caning. Um, we are the nation's only chair caning school and museum. Where we are actually working on uh, restorations and teaching. You just don't find this everywhere. It's, it's uh, kind of like Asheville. It's a unique, one-of-a-kind one kind place. The way it's laid out, it's very open, um, very homey. Dave and, and Brandy make you feel comfortable. You can hang out in our library and do some research on some chairs, or you could find some chairs to purchase for your home. Since the early 20th century, contemporary furniture designers have looked at woven seats as a popular design element. Caning has come to be the umbrella term for many different styles of weaving. Um, caning specifically is from the rattan palm. It's the outer bark of the rattan palm. And it is a jungle climbing vine. It comes from Southeast Asia. Came over with the tea and spice trade in the 16 and 1700s. There are so many different styles and when you start to see them all in one place, then it, it can be mind-blowing. You know, people that come in and their jaws drop. We teach five basic styles of chair caning regularly, from beginner to advanced levels. Any age, yes. You're never too young or never too old. Uh, I'm in my mid-60s, and I've only been doing this less than a year. Um, I've been working with my hands all my life, but this is something new, and it's, it's very rewarding for somebody any age. We're working on a lovely laced cane chair. Um, this is smaller, this is a very old piece. Um, and even a chair this size, you'll have 15 hours worth of work when all is said and done. Um, we've laid in step one, which is these verticals, and I'm working on step two, the horizontals. Uh, you're coming up the holes and shooting across. and back, back down the holes on the other side. The pegs are there to hold the tension until you have an opportunity to tie your tails off. And then I'm gonna be laying in a diagonal in one direction and a diagonal in the other, which gives you the tiny hexagons that you're used to seeing in a laced cane chair and a machine cane chair. It's a fantastic facility here. They're great instructors, her and Dave both. They have the patience of a saint, and you go home and you actually feel like you've learned something. Many of the chairs that find their way into the shop have a family history. By telling its story and restoring the chair, it takes on a life of its own. Chairs are documents and that caners are historians that preserve centuries of designs and techniques. It's the, the connection with history. There's a whole lot of humanity caught up in chairs. To be a link in the chain, whether it's your family's piece or um, something that you've fallen in love with, like that's a really beautiful thing. And all of a sudden, your your hands are passing where someone else's hands have passed, you know, a hundred years ago. And the chairs are older than we are, and they'll be here long after we're gone. So all they need is a new seat. The Silver River Center for Chair Caning is located at number nine Riverside Drive in Asheville's River Arts District. It's open Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturday from 11 to 4. For more information, you can call them at 828-707-4553 or go online to silverriverchairs.com.